Is it possible to be to do art in the realm of sales? Is it possible to be considered an artist in the way you sell something? Now Seth Godin defines an artist as a human being doing generous work that might not work. Now that is a very broad definition and that definition is not limited to writers and painters. That mean, By that definition, a hairdresser could be an artist. By that definition, a cupcake baker could be an artist. By that definition, a customer service rep, a waitress, they could all be artists. But perhaps you're slow to call yourself an artist because you've got all these negative associations with the term. Because in your head, to be an artist means to be unpredictable and erratic and unreliable and snobby, right? And so you don't want to call yourself an artist, or it feels wrong to call yourself an artist. Or perhaps the same applies to another term, like writer. You know, it doesn't feel right. You feel afraid of calling yourself a writer because to call yourself a writer means to put yourself in the same category as the greats, you know, like Hemingway or Gladwell or Shakespeare, you know, and you don't feel like you deserve to be in their category. Well, yet at least. So as Meryl Streep and Norman Rockwell stated in their quotes, if you don't like the term artist, find a label that you do like. You know, if, if writer feels too intimidating right now, call yourself a blogger or an aspiring writer. If artist evokes all these funny associations and you don't feel comfortable with that term, call yourself an illustrator or an amateur doodlist. You know, so don't let all these negative associations or these weird uh, feelings around a term stop you from creating, stop you from showing up in the world with your art. Find a term that you like, find a term that's possibly unique, find a term that fits right now and it, and you can shed the terms, you know, you can sh if writer feels too scary right now, call yourself a blogger and after a few years you'll start to become more comfortable and writer might feel like a more suitable term. But either way, don't let it stop you creating. Hope that helps, I'm Thomas.